Well, Disney on Ice is back in town, and Disney's celebrating a very special birthday this year. Chantal Desjardins is at the Bell Center, and Chantal, Mickey Mouse, older than he looks. From Mickey and Minnie to Buzz Lightyear, the stars are out at the Bell Center this week to help celebrate Disney's 100-year anniversary. And with gorgeous costumes, dazzling sets, and everyone's favorite Disney songs, the show is sure to impress fans of all ages. The Bell Center has turned into a trip down memory lane for Disney fans. The captivating production features the largest cast ever of lovable Disney stars skating to Academy Award winning songs like When You Wish Upon a Star, Zippity Doodah, Under the Sea and many more. The centennial celebration relives unforgettable Disney stories that have entertained generations of families all over the world. While Disney turns 100, Beatles legend John Lennon would have turned 73 this week. And UK artist Marcus Cahill has taken his admiration for the music icon to a whole new level. I got into the Beatles uh, when I was about five years old. My father used to sing me to sleep, singing the Beatles songs. And uh, so I kind of fell in love with it at an early age. Cahill now travels the world dressing like John, singing like John, and recently even took part in a mock bed-in for peace at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel here in Montreal, just like John and wife Yoko Ono did back in 1969. And the impersonator says that it's easy to get into character. Uh, I don't feel like I'm ever out of the zone, to be honest, because I, I love it that much. I wake up thinking about the Beatles, I go to sleep thinking about the Beatles. So for me, it, that's normal life, but for some of the people, it's like not so normal. <laughs> Cahill holds the record for the longest-running John Lennon tribute with more than 400 performances and says regardless of how many times he plays the same Lennon songs for fans, it never gets old. Not a chance. No, I love him. He's, he's my hero. He's my idol, you know. Uh, I got to play in the cavern, you know, where the Beatles performed in Liverpool. And uh, I played there 436 times, and they played 292. So I'm expecting a phone call from Paul McCartney soon. <laughs> Cahill performs at the Rialto Theatre Friday night at 8.30. Starting this weekend, the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts will present Splendore a Venezia, featuring art and music from the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. This innovative exhibition is the first to explore the interaction between the visual arts and the Venetian music scene with its operas and splendid galas. The marriage of music and fine arts gave birth to a number of painting masterpieces. Disney on Ice runs here at the Bell Center through October 14th, and organizers expect up to 6,000 people a night. And while I wasn't able to track down any Mickey ears quite yet, little girl Lemmy her tiara. So uh, in exchange, I had to promise to uh, introduce her to a princess. So if you know any princesses, let me know. <laughs> I guess you're kind of officially one right now. Is it flashing? There's it's flashing. It's definitely flashing. It. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to say I want one, but... <laughs> I have to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chantal. Chantal Desjardins with What's On Tonight.